pouvoir changer les choses de long Comme un garçon je porte un blouson Un médaillon, un gros ceinturon Comme un garçon Comme un garçon Armory Show 2009. Can you tell me where the press room is? The press room is right there. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the sign should have been a big tip off. So this is probably the big event of the art season here. And this fair has been approached with a lot of anxiety and anticipation. A lot of people are wondering whether or not uh, the market is going to affect this, so a lot of people are looking at the, the results here with great anticipation. As you can see, this fair is so huge, I think they've probably got about 140 or more booths between the two piers. And although I'm going to try to do two programs on this, that's still just going to be scratching the surface. The Paul Kasman Gallery booth. It looks like they've got a special Kenny Scharf installation. It's kind of nice. It's got a lot of silk screens and prints on the wall. Hey, way to go, Kenny. This massive piece is by Elena Tsui, Jack Shaneman Gallery. I believe this thing is all made out of caps off liquor bottles and various other small pieces of tin. And I would say this piece has got to be 30 feet across, maybe 10 feet high. This is the cereal booth. Looks like a Barack Obama portrait. Looks like it's done in Cheerios. They've actually made an addition to the uh, Armory Show. In the past, this has always been what is called a contemporary art show. And that means that most of the artists were living artists. Now they've opened a new pier that is featuring modern art, which basically is anything going back to about 1900. So we'll probably do that in part two. This is the Jack Shaneman Gallery. Some pieces by Mike Cave. This is White Cube London. Gilbert and George. Actually, a nice little tapestry by Tracy Iman. Titled Contamination of the Soul. My brain is full of festering shit. This is at the Lombard Freed booth. This is a piece by Maureen Fatmi. Keep Faith 2007. 1500 VCR tapes. Where are the belts and mirrors? Variable dimensions. Here's the Mitchell Ennis and Nash booth. We got a couple of pieces here by Chris Martin. They're both untitled. Looks like it's on burlap. Here's a great painting by 
someone I think is one of the most intriguing artists out there. This is Tal R at Contemporary Fine Arts Berlin. I believe Tal R is an Israeli artist who is working out of Denmark. Some of the Johannes Misa. Peter Doig. Or Misa. I think Contemporary Fine Arts is one of the more exciting galleries in Europe these days. There's a nice piece by Dominic McGill, the Derek Eller Gallery. This looks like graphite on paper and collage. This is another one of the people that are involved in the meta drawing movement. Here's the well-known collector, Donald Rubel. Oh, here's a very choice little grouping of Thomas Muskowski paintings. Here at Pace Wildenstein, New York. And here are some lovely pieces at Leo Koenig Gallery. Okay, these pieces are by Tony Mattelli. And what is the medium? Is this uh, acrylic of some um, kind? Urethane, bronze, and uh, an aluminum cast. Thank you. This is the Regina Gallery, Moscow. Some beautiful large black and white photographs here. This is an Amish Kapoor, kind of a wobbly concave mirror. Very impressive if you see this walking up on this. This is at the Kukje Gallery, Seoul. A very large piece by Michelena Thomas. Is the way. Acrylic and rhinestones on wood panel. Kind of signals the return of high kitsch. There might be just too darn much art to pack in into one program, so we're going to come back, folks. Stay tuned.